morning and welcome to another fun-filled adventure with Carolina Wild. We are at Wind Rock Park now. There's an event going called the uh, Mickey Thompson's Great American Crawl that we decided to, to go to. As of now, we've seen a lot of people here, so I think it's going to be a pretty good event. We're excited to do this. Um, it's a lot different than what we're, I guess, used to doing, just standard overlanding stuff and finding trails. This will be one of one of the first times that we we're actually going to test the Jeep's limits. The Opus, not going. It's going to stay here at this little camp spot, and uh, <laughs> yeah. connector trail right now headed to the first trail that I guess we're gonna do we're probably gonna go later to the uh, the event the Mickey Thompson great American crawl event because it's it's 10 15 and we want to we want to go ahead and get out on these trails and, and see what it's all about as of right now if there's anything if they're anything like the connector trail, I think we're gonna be in for a pretty fun time. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, we're, I don't know, we're maybe 300 yards into the connector trail and we got a little ways to go before we get actually to the first trailhead. Um, the trail that we are just now getting on Windrock G1. Right. So we're gonna take G1 all the way over to Panther Creek or uh, Trail 51 to do the first Jeep Batch Trail. And it, it looks like it's gonna be a serious haul to get over there. <laughs> but, but it'll be worth it once we get there in like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Maybe we're just gonna do one batch of water trail today. Yeah, it seems like it. Maybe just one. We got one. out here early. All right. Well, so far, so far it's good. know what's going on on this trip but yet again here is another fire this is two in two days um, this is close to trail 16 off of G1 and it, it looks like it's stretching pretty far and then this is the way we got to go so hopefully hopefully we don't get caught in this we're gonna try to uh, scoot past it as quickly as we can Oh my goodness, this does not look good. We're gonna need to go.
trail 51 we just made it to the trailhead it took forever yeah. to get here just know that you don't have to take the trail you actually go across a real road <laughs> so, so if you ever come out here there's a road find the road <laughs> <laughs> unless you want to take the trail i mean it was really nice yeah we've been we've been on trail g1 for like two hours yeah but <laughs> we we finally made it over here to the panther creek i think it's like trail 51 or something um and we're gonna hit this jeep badge of honor trail and then we see where we go from there just got on to Panther Rock Trail number 51 in Wind Rock Park. Um, this is rated on the difficulty scale from 1 to 10. It's a 3 to 5. Um, it's about 2.1 miles long and a few things about this trail that they've told us um, off of the Badge of Honor app is that it offers a ton of really beautiful rock formations and cliff views and towards the end of the trail um, as far as this entire private property goes, it offers one of the best uh, scenic views at the very end. Um, this is for novice off-roaders, for, I guess, like experience level, um, and that's about it. So, we're really excited to see what happens. Yeah, it's not bad so far. Yeah, I mean, it was worse getting over to the trail, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we just started, so. We'll have to see what happens. Um, it's also located on the northern portion of the park on the southeast facing slopes. So, just a little bit about this trail. We'll uh, check in with you when we have our first obstacle. side down that way. Okay. I think that looks about right.
well we made it out to the overlook and it was definitely worth the drive um, I guess it's time to head back up so finish this trail and see what else we can get into today so we'll check in later bye Can you believe we just finished our second Jeep Badge of Honor trail? It wasn't that bad. No, it wasn't. I mean, the <laughs> hill was a little sketchy. There were some sketchy things. The hill was a little. Woo! But I know, yeah, man. It was fantastic, and the view was amazing. Absolutely. So, if you're ever out here, you definitely need to check this trail out. Trail 51. Trail 51. Worth it. I would say you, you you should probably you should probably have some aftermarket tires. I was just about to ask. Maybe what do some, they need? some bigger tires. You could get away with a, a little lift. A little lift, yeah. But man, yeah, you you shouldn't do that stock. <laughs> That's for sure. Don't do that stock. Yeah. A lot of big ruts and uh, a lot of places to get easily high centered. Um, quite a few off camber moments. But other than that, it, it wasn't it wasn't bad. Not, nothing to where it made me want to really poop my pants. <laughs> All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed. We are headed back. I think we're gonna go check out the uh, Great American Crawl event. See what that's all about. stopped on our way from heading out from trail 51 Adam was trying to get some drone shots and he hit a tree so our drone went down um, hopefully he can find it he said he knows where it's at I guess we'll see what happens <laughs> he seemed I'm I, I am upset too but he seemed he seems really upset so I'm just hoping we can find it a little upset as you should be oh. so a little bloody <laughs> and a little bit of pain because I fell down a, a cliff mountain 
into a big old thing of thorns. And there was a thorn bush on my face. Do you want to tell them why? My drone's obstacle avoidance system failed to avoid an obstacle. And it hit a tree. And it fell like 100 feet. And it went... So, that's where we're at right now. Yeah, so just curious if anybody else has the DJI, what is it? The Air 3. Air 3. If you do, we'd love to hear your experience. Like, does your drone have issues with detecting obstacles? Because, I mean, we've had, we, yeah. we don't use tracking because it, it literally hit the only tree in our front yard at our house. So it wasn't set on nifty mode or anything like that. It was set to avoid the obstacles. And it uh, struggled, struggled to do that, that job. So comment down below. Just curious if you have the same experience. And if so, what drone do you recommend? Do you have a better <laughs> drone? <laughs> um, yeah, Adam was off the side of the cliff. Oh, oh. Gone for like at least eight minutes. No, no sound, nothing. It felt like a lot longer than that. Because it, it was down there. That had to have been 15 minutes. I mean, did you get some sick footage before it hit the tree, though? I think, I think okay. so. We're going to find out. So it was worth it. Thousands of dollars lost. That's the thousand. That's the thousand five. dollar shot. Yeah. That's the thousand dollar shot right there. It better be real good. Um, yeah, so I think we're headed now to Best Buy <laughs> to get another drone. Because... Let's, sh let's show them. Where is it? It's back there somewhere. Oh, found it. So, um... Camera's broken. The uh, motor's broken. We lost a battery. The battery just decided to eject itself. So, it wasn't the fact that I could use the find my drone because it wouldn't beep or flash because there's no battery. So, I dug through piles and piles of thorns and I found it. Here's the camera. So sad. Yeah, I think the worst part about it is I didn't get the drone insurance. So So I think this next time we're gonna get the drone insurance? Yeah. 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 We sure are. So yeah. Exciting. Celebrating our second Jeep Badge of Honor trail with buying ourselves a new <laughs> drone. <laughs> well. It's okay, because um, Adam, you're a fantastic flyer, and I probably would have hit so many more trees, even though you're going to say, well, I hit a tree, and it sucks, yeah. but I, you're, you're a good drone pilot. This was the <sighs> All right, to give you guys an update, uh, we got back from... We, we went to Best Buy. Because uh, Adam ran <laughs> his drone into a tree. Yeah, it kind of kind of lost the drone. Well, I got it, but it's broken into pieces. So, we wanted to make sure that we still had drone footage, so we went and got another drone. So uh, much we care about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but tomorrow we plan on uh headed over to the Great American Crawl, the event that's taking place um sponsored by Mickey Thompson. Um so we'll be there probably early in the morning and it's going to be a fun time uh, but for now we're going to bed